Who right now do you see as the top draft prospect at QB? I've got Deshaun Watson from Clemson still in there. Uh, he's been up there for us for a while now. It's it's a tough class to kind of figure because keep waiting for whether it's Watson, and Deshaun Kaiser from Notre Dame, Mitch Trubisky from North Carolina, someone to step up and really take the reins here like we've seen in past years. And it hasn't really happened. Everyone's kind of struggled. But uh, I still have Watson there. I think he's got – uh, a nice dual threat kind of athletic game. And he's, he's shown up in big games, makes too many mistakes, turns the ball over too much, but we've seen what he can do. How about two and three at the position? Yeah, it, I have Kaiser from Notre Dame, Mitch Trubisky from North Carolina there. And again, you know, it's sort of waiting to see if anyone will close the season strong, what happens. Um, and both are kind of raw prospects. I mean, I think Kaiser is pretty solid. I think he's a guy you could talk about maybe even stepping in and playing as a starter next year if you can kind of clean up. Trubisky is kind of the wild card because it, the mechanics, the footwork can be really poor at times, but he's also a guy who likes to stand in the pocket, take some hits, deliver the football. You know, some of the things that we saw positives from Carson Wentz last year, I think you see from Trubisky this year. What about a sleeper? Uh, anyone we should be keeping an eye on as we, you know, inch our way towards the end of the season here? Well, I, he won't be a an unfamiliar name to people who pay attention to college football. I think he's probably in the Heisman race right now. It's Baker Mayfield from Oklahoma. And you're not hearing a ton about him from an NFL perspective because uh, a, the system that he's playing in is pretty friendly. Uh, and also he's on the smaller side and we know how the NFL feels about quarterbacks that don't necessarily fit their prototype at quarterbacks. <laughs>